they do get it, and that's why we have Nicholas Detour, MD. Hi, good morning. Thank you very much for having me. We have to talk about something kind of serious, and it's Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. So uh, November is Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month, so I thought it was a great opportunity to just talk about some of the basics about Alzheimer's disease. Perfect. So one of the first things that you and I were talking about is something I didn't realize and maybe just the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's so that people understand just the basics of what they're talking about when they're talking about it. Yeah, well those, those words are used interchangeably a lot, sometimes it makes sense, um, but Really, dementia is more of a broad term. It's an umbrella term that talks about changes with thinking and memory over time. There are different types of dementia. Alzheimer's disease happens to be the most common type. So somewhere around three quarters of people with dementia um, have a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. There are other types, like vascular mm -hmm. dementia, which happens sometimes after stroke, but Alzheimer's is the most common type. And there's all kinds of stages of Alzheimer's, right? There are stages of, of, of Alzheimer's. We have. Uh, an extensive staging system really where we talk about seven stages but um, you can you can put a, a person with dementia into a category of mild moderate or severe based on how they're doing we get that question a lot you know a, a caregiver a relative will say well we know dad or mom or my spouse has dementia how bad is it and they often think that there is a blood test or a scan mm -hmm. or something that's going to give them that answer. And we, we often have to turn the tables a little bit and start asking them, how is your loved one doing? How much help do they need getting through their day? And can they address themselves? Yeah. Can they, yeah. and, and so the more independence lost, the more hands-on assistance needed over the course of the disease, the more the disease progresses in stages. You hear that term all the time, early onset or you know, mm -hmm. something like that too. Can it, can, can, can it be helped once it progresses? Can it get better? There's no cure for dementia. There are treatments available, including medication treatments, that can help with symptoms as the disease progresses. Symptoms like memory difficulty, problems mm -hmm. with thinking and confusion and behaviors. And, um, but really, when, we, when I think about treatments for dementia, it's not just the medication treatment. I think about the time I spend talking with families and caregivers mm -hmm. about how to respond to somebody whose behavior is changing, how do you react to somebody who's having confusion. I think that those, if you look at those treatments or those interactions with somebody with dementia, those are just as important, if not more important, than some of the medications that are available. Is there a way that you can help ease that transition? Because sometimes it just makes more sense. Downsize from the family home and then move your family member somewhere where they can have more help. But what's a way you can kind of ease that transition for them and not have it be so jarring if they're already deal dealing with Alzheimer's? Well, oftentimes the living situation does have to change just because the care needs of the patient mm -hmm. have to change. Um, but as much continuity as you can provide with one-on-one -on -one time with people or even objects, pictures and so forth that are familiar, and the more that you can keep the sleep-wake cycle intact, the more you can stay on a routine with morning activities like bathing, dressing, and meal times, the easier that transition will be. Yeah, and so obviously, if there are any questions about any time we ever talk to our fantastic people at Lake Health, the best of health line is 1-800-454-9800. And uh, Dr. Detour has, um, of course, friends at Lake Health Physicians Group Mentor, right? That's right. Right down the street. And you are, uh, your primary care, so are you accepting new patients right now? I am, yep. I'm an internist. I do primary care. Take care of adults of all ages. So if you don't have a doctor, and this is what we're talking about, if you don't know what that means, when, when you go right. to the hospital and they're like, well, who's your, do who's your doctor? Who's your primary care physician? Well, it could be Dr. Detour. Yeah, so it could be. There you go. So definitely call the Best of Health line, get more information, 1-800-454-9800. It's Lake Health. They get it.